Well guys, welcome to AMA's first feature film. I'm here with Caden from Hunters and Drifters and he's taking me to see this beautiful northwest of Australia. So, what are we doing, mate? Nico, the plan is we're just gonna, I know, trip around the northwest here, um, see if we can get out, get uh, Nico his first Mac, hopefully on Spear, try to get one on Lure as well. Um, that's really the goals for the trip. Um, and then, yeah, try and get a muddy, just, just to sort of, I don't know, show you what the Northwest has to offer, mate. Oh, man, I'm so keen. So I just came in, I flew in. Now we've got a three hour drive. And uh, once we get up there, the adventure starts. So stay tuned. And I stay I'm a pretty boss Look on my shit brain ways I'm a freak in the sheets But I got class I'm a grab an ass If you want it Best you ever had And give it to you what got you into YouTube? What got you into to making videos? Because, you know, I've like been a YouTuber, it's almost like a full-time job, isn't it? <laughs> Man, people, don't, people underestimate how hard it is to make an episode, especially like, it's unbelievable, working, you know, full-time as well. But um, I sort of started my channel, Hunters and Drifters, um, you know, I moved up to the Northwest probably five years ago, and sort of when I moved up, a lot of people were asking me, you know, what do you do in your spare time? You know, um, what sort of stuff do you do? What's it like when you go diving? All those sorts of questions. And I just thought, like, I'll start filming stuff so I can show them the sharks and I can show them the fish and all that. And I thought, like, why not just start creating videos? And, um, yeah, my girlfriend Britta thought up the name Hunters and Drifters because, you know, like, hunting, spearfishing, um, drifting, always out on the boat. Love my bodyboarding as well. Um, surfing, that sort of stuff, and just very ocean-orientated. So I thought I'd create some sort of, like, ocean channel and show everyone. If you guys want to check it out, Hunters and Drifters is my channel, but... Um, the aim of the game currently right now is to get Nico or Mac. That's what we're here for. We so. are. We are. That's the one thing I want to do up in the northwest. We're just heading out now and uh, yeah, we'll get into town, have a feed and we start tomorrow. So tomorrow, yeah, start heading out, get some adventures and see if we can get that elusive Mac. Beautiful. I'm sure there'll be a one around. They get on the Pelagics. Through. That's what we want. We want the big Pelagics. Yeah. But um, yeah, don't worry, there's gonna be plenty of adventures in this little video. Well, we just got into town and look where we are. First stop, straight to the beach. What an absolute beautiful day it is. Kaden, what are we doing here, mate? Such a nice afternoon, just gonna chuck the drone up, have a look around, it looks pretty nice. This is Zephyr, everyone. Caden's dog. Let's go. Let's do it. You ready, mate? Yeah, mate. We're off. A couple of towels, a bit of water, maybe a couple of celebratory cool drinks. Let's go. Seriously, big wheelie you've got. <laughs> See you later. Oh yeah, he's got a big dong, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm the girl that they don't talk about. Quiet with a big mouth. Listen for the doubt, then call it. Make you out for what you say to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh. Got you your stick, mate? Yeah, I got me stick. Got me shaft. Shoot around corners, shaft for crabbing so hopefully we can get a couple have a look around and find some holes and I'll show you the way to do it Nico <laughs> yeah go on 
Hello there. Look at this. I'm like, oh man, I'm sinking here. Check this out. Oh, we're getting there. Crossing the river. No, they're struggling here. Oh my god. This is one way to do it, that's for sure. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, mate, you got Simon on board? You don't mind a bit of video, do you? No, I don't mind. <laughs> Holy shit, this is cold. So we're just crossing the river at the moment. Ooh. Hey, take the grass is greener on the other side. But oh, I don't know, there's not much grass there, mate. <laughs> oh, we're just making our way across. That is some of the coldest water. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. Oh, mate. Oh shit. We're down. We're down. Crazy stuff. Look at this. I'm not sinking here. Oh, we're good. That's crazy. We're on our way to the first mud crab spot. The real good thing about the uh, mud on your legs is it keeps the mozzies and sand flies away. So, it's not the worst thing. It dries up as like a layer. And um, yeah, a bit of a barrier. Oh, well, that's one good thing about having mud. Oh, oh. I think a bit of a workout. Hard work. Hard work. Worse than the treadmill at the gym. That's pretty sick. Oh, there's one over here. You no, go. I'm on that one. Nah. 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 Nothing. Well, that's exactly what we're looking for, I believe. Absolutely, mate. Alright. We'll just keep going around, trying to find these little holes that are on the side of the bed here. Hopefully we can uh, find ourselves a nice mud crab. Yeah. Legal size limit for a mud crab. So up here we're chasing the uh, 150 centimeter muddy. So yeah, got to be from sort of uh, the corner of their carapace, um, of their shell, um, carapace to carapace, 150. Okay. So we got the go. tape measure there. Wrap it over their body. Make sure they're over 150. But um, got to find one first. So yeah, we'll keep searching. Let's do it. See the mud skipper right there. Yeah. Is that called a mud skipper? Yeah, mud skipper. Well, that's, that's, that's really deep. Yeah. I can't feel the muddy in there. No. Nah. Next one. Ah, look at the size of these things. Man, look at the size of the nipper. Yeah, that's not a huge one. That's a good size, but... Wow. It's definitely bigger around. That's crazy. Just dried out in the high tide, that one. Yeah. Mm. Nothing, I think. Yeah. All right, we're still on the search to find a mud crab. Haven't got any luck on this side of the creek, so I think we're going to jump on the other side. Hopefully, uh... We can try and find something. But we'll just keep walking through the groves here. Got some weight there, Nico. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Keep going, keep going. Okay. It's huge. Oh, here he is. Oh, my God. Keep going, Nico. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, look at the size of him. Yeah! yeah. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
Oh my god, man! I've never seen one before! <laughs> that is awesome! Nice job, man! Bro, awesome I'm work! I'm shaking! That's massive! Oh, look how big the claws are! <laughs> That's his chomper! Oh over my here. god! Look at the size of it! That is massive! Simo, what a spot! <laughs> what a spot! What a spot! <laughs> I can't oh. take all the credit, but Simo, what Simo. are we doing, mate? How do you Where'd you come from? This spot, what'd you feel? Yeah, so, saw a good little hole there and uh, put the spear in and yeah, you could just, you just hear like a good solid tap on the Yeah, on the it sort spear. of makes like a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah so... Yeah, I got that, so I only went in about 20 centimetres and I, I just said, boys, there's a crab here. Jump yeah. straight on this one. Look at that, boys. Pico! That's man. Nice that big bus. Yeah, that's huge, massive bus. Look at the size of the nippers compared that's to That's what we hand. come out of here for, Nico. That's what we come out of here for. That is amazing. Oh, that's, um, see if you can get that, that claw on your hand. Show yeah. us how big that one claw is. This, look at that. Look at that's that. Oh, look at that's that. That's a monster. Wow. Look at that. What a feed. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, got ourselves a cash and cook later. Absolutely. <laughs> Good stuff. We got ourselves one. We got one, we got one mate. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is what we this is what we come out here for. Look at the size of this buck. Man, I'm, I'm still still spinning, hey. What a beautiful crab. Let's keep on searching. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna head back. Uh, to Caden's house and get the boat ready because we've got a little window of good weather. So uh, yeah, we'll cook this baby in a little while and uh, yeah, go head out for a sesh. So pretty exciting stuff. What's that over there? Nah, looks like a turtle. I don't know if it's live or it's live. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. Nah, come on. It's it is too. Hey, buddy. Hey, come on. Let's get you back. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Been out of the water for a couple of hours. Yeah, we're just gonna That's go. Nearly at the creek. He's not dried out too bad at all. Have a good day. There he is. There he goes. Jeff, Jeff. Let's go, come on, Jeff, quick. Jeff, quick, come on. These are the two crabs we got today. That's the 170, that's the big girl. And Caden just got another 150 size crab. Two crabs. Oh man. So if you want to check out how we got this one, what a pain in the ass that was, wasn't it? Yeah, that was absolutely <laughs> Jump on the Hunters and Drifters because he's going to be throwing up a video very soon about it. But look at that. Beautiful. Couple of little ocean lollipops later for you, Nico. You haven't oh, got on these mate, ones Mate, I've yet. never had an ocean lollipop before, man. Yeah, you're about I'm to. I'm pretty excited. This is, these are the ocean lollipops. <laughs> yeah. Get under one. That's awesome. A little tasty treat, so. Yeah, boy. We'll wash off and we'll head home and start setting the boat up, getting ready to head out wide. I hope that big oh, trip, so. I know. It's good that time, yeah. Filling up birdie, eh? Yeah, just filling up the birdie, mate. Needs another 100 litres in her, so. How big's the tank? Um, 210 litres in the birdie, so. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we just um, start filling that up and then hit the water. It's looking pretty windy, could be a pretty bumpy right out, but hopefully um, glass is off for the ride home, so we'll see how we go. Let's hope so. Got the safety mecco. So a bit of a change of plans. The weather has turned oh, a bit cold, yeah, hasn't it's it? It's bumpy, yeah, it's real rough. So what we're gonna do is we're in the shallows, we're about three to four meters deep, and yeah. uh, we're gonna try and catch ourselves a nice little cold trout. Yeah, cold trout, that'll be real good. Okay, yeah. I can get you onto a cold trout. Through these grounds here, so your first cold trout on the spear. Let's what do you reckon? Oh, that's key for me. All let's right. do it. Let's jump in, let's get changed. Yeah, see, see you guys in the water. You. Just bought this baby from Spear West. Yeah, it's not too bad. Aussie reels. Aussie reels. Aussie reels ready as well. Yeah. 
Well, let's give her a go. I've only caught one little reefy on this. So a coral trout will definitely be a winner. I'm running the uh, roller. Custom roller. Manny sub. Got the uh, Manny sub rubber and the uh, Aussie reel as well. So see what we can get. Let's jump in. Got a little tusk fish and a coral trout, our first spot. Pretty happy with a little feed like that. How good. Black nice spot tusk. tusk fish. And a beautiful coral trout. And a really nice coral trout. His ability was terrible. Terrible. Oh man. We're diving in about four meters of water. So nothing too crazy. See how we go in the next couple of days. Hopefully we can get ourselves a big one. So just giving the birdie a little bit of a scrub. Got to give her a good clean. Weather's not looking pretty the next couple of days, so we thought we'd just give her a quick clean. Get all that salt water off, no good for the boat. Give her a good clean. Hopefully, I believe in three days time, we've got a good little weather break there, so hopefully we can go get ourselves our Mackey that we're chasing. Yeah. Oh, doing a good job there, Nico. Oh, mate. Done it a few times before, mate. Absolutely. Kato gave me the hard labour job. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're inside the Bertram and we're just going to give a full rundown of what it is, what it's all about, and what Kato uses it for. So, mate, give us the rundown. So, the Bertram, she's a uh, 20 foot, Bertram 20, uh, made in 1979. It's had a little bit of a rebuild um, just before I got it. With a new motor and some new seats, new installs, stuff like that, new seat boxes and some new trim, all that sorts of, all those sorts of goodies. She's got a 27 degree dead rise, so one of the steeper boats out in the market. With regards to being one of the steeper dead risers, the only real other boats that are steeper are like stuff like Nyads. You've got the Smuggler 6.4, which runs a 30 degree dead rise. It's a rounded keel, so um, it sort of doesn't come to a point at the bottom, it, it's rounded underneath the vessel. So yeah, that's a um, pretty, pretty nice feature to help with a little bit of stability at rest, but um, you sort of ease up and lose a bit of smoothness of the ride. Um, but I don't know, you can't really complain too much. 2.44 meters wide on the beam, which is, yeah, absolute weapon. Um, got an inboard as well, so weight down low. Um, don't have any pods or hull extensions or outboards on the back. Got a really nice marlin board as well, which is perfect for diving. She sits right on the waterline, so when I jump in, um, perfect, you can just sit on that, chuck your fins on and in you go and when you get back same thing, just slide up onto the marlin board and really helpful and makes diving a breeze as you would know Nico. 
and we had a really good session like yesterday uh, the sun went down real quick so we couldn't have time to, to fill it or clean the boat or anything so we woke up this morning we cleaned the fish we cleaned the boat and uh, I think it's time to cook up that mud crab what do you reckon I reckon let's go get stuck into that all right so Caden's on fire duties what are we doing here buddy just making a small little barrier digging a little fire pit up pretty wet sand but hopefully we sort of had to find ourselves a bit of protection from the uh, wind, otherwise we'll never get anything going. Well, we got it. Second shot. Good stuff. There we go. Caden had the fire duties and it's my turn to uh, cook the crab. So, all in the preparation. First things first, is just gonna pull the mud crabs out. Mate, look at that thing. Big buck number one. And we've also got big buck number two here. Caden's on cleaning duties while I start preparing everything else. Got our coconut cream. We've got our beautiful tomato paste. We've got a nice fresh onion. Yeah, lovely onion. Coriander, gotta have the coriander. Absolutely. Hey, just a little bit of salt and pepper. We've got the salt and pepper. We've got the garlic clove here. And of course, the big red chili, mate. The big chili. <laughs> first cool, things mate. first, mate, is what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up this beautiful chili. Nice, small pieces, just like so. I've got the seriously sharp dive knife. Oh, mate, this dive knife, I'll tell you what. Unreal piece of equipment here. Oh, mate, what a bucket. Use mate, this, mate. Use yeah, we've got to change on. it. Come oh, on. Mate, what is this? Look we're whopping now. Oh my gosh. There we go. That's Look. what we're talking about. Mate, this is what we need. Swiss mountaineer knife, that one. Straight no. from France. Who loves a bit of onion? Not too much though. We've got two crabs. We'll do a little bit more. Because you want that beautiful yeah, onion flavor onion. going yeah. through the tomato paste. I'm ready to go, mate. It's all up to you now. All right, I'll go sort these. Too easy. Just peeled the shell off. Down at a creek system anyway, so Look all this. this stuff just becomes food. That face off. These filters, crack it in half. All right, that's all our goodness there. So rest that there. Then basically you want to wash all this stuff out as well. All right, Kane, this is where all the magic happens, mate. So we've got a pot. We're going to put that straight onto the coals here with the oil inside the pot there. Get that nice and hot. Garlic now, straight into the pot. Throw that in there also. So just for a bit of preparation, what we're going to do is we're just going to throw just a little bit of chilli inside the meat here. Everywhere you see, just try and get a bit of that chilli going in there. Beautiful. Straight inside there. Okay. Now these crabs are ready to go in. We're going to start cooking these. These are the first things to cook, just like that. One. Two, three, and four. Look at that, mate. That is looking good. Now, the last thing we got to do is, you know, we're not wasters here. We'll throw the rest of this uh, chili and coriander in. Get all that in there, all the good stuff. Now, one thing we've got to do is add our tomato paste. This is the stuff we're using here. Can open that up just like so. I'm just going to pull pull that on top if it comes out. Oh, you're shitting me! There, there we go. go. There we go. Look at that. Nice thick, juicy tomato sauce. And of course the coconut cream. Just enough there. Just a little bit more. Bit more pepper. Bit more pepper, mate. Yum, mate. You can't get. You can't get away from the seasoning. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to close the lid again and just let that cook through its own juices. Five minutes. Come have a look what we're working with. Check this out. Ooh. Oh my god. That is looking insane. Alrighty. Oh that's hot isn't it? This is uh, where the fun happens mate. 
Wait, you yeah. get to have your first ocean lollipop. Oh, mate, I'm keen nah. for an ocean lollipop, that's for sure. Now, I've got these beautiful plates because there's nothing better than good presentation. On the Absolutely. Good presentation. Alrighty. Now, here's the two beautiful plates that we're going for here. Now, we're just going to grab these succulent mud crabs here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wow, wait. Look at this, guys. Wow, that is fantabulous. Look at that, guys. They're that big, you can't even see them on the plate, mate. We're just going to pour that lightly over the top of the crab, just like so. There's one more thing. What is it? This stuff <laughs> in there, mate. Bread! You gotta have the bread, my friend. As we say, pan of the casa. Bread of the house. Are. There you go. Yeah. Oh. See, we got an Italian in the house as well. So what we're gonna do here, mate, you gotta have the bread for the sauce. Yeah, I'm, tell I'm telling you now. What do you reckon of the little opinel? Handy, a little bit of kit. I'll tell you what, what a beautiful little knife this is. Not the size of the fight in the dog, is it? Far out. Yeah. I'll tell you the what, it's better than that. Fight. Better than that uh, ocean knife I bought, that's for sure, that dive yeah, that knife. Was junk. Chili, coconut, garlic, tomato, mud crab, man. Check that out. Now, oh my gosh, look at that. All right, mate, dip her in. Let's try the sauce first, gotta try. See how, what flavors we're working with at the moment. Wow. Oh man, that is good. You get that real coconut coming through, don't you? Mm. The chili, then you get the hit of chili. Yum. What'd you reckon? Man, I'm ready to have my I'm ready to have my lollipop. All right, let's go. Let's get stuck into a lollipop for you. Alrighty. Man, I'm so excited for this lollipop. I need to find my big lollipop. Where is she? There you go, mate. Is that the lollipop? That is can it? be yours. Have a go. Have a All bite right, on that bad boy. Have a look. <laughs> oh my god, man. Ocean lollipop, mate. Wow. Enjoy. Northwest ocean lollipop. Wow. How good's that? This is a messy little meal, isn't it? Oh, oh yeah. You got to get involved. Get stuck That's in. That's for sure. You got to get involved. Well, I tell you what, it is a messy meal, but what do you reckon? What do you think, mate? This is unreal. I'm so glad that I could take you out, get your first mud crab. A big, massive bucket that as well. And this recipe that you've cooked up for me today is unreal. Thanks very much for cooking it for me. Ah, no worries, man. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna get stuck into this, guys. We're gonna finish our meals, and uh, we're on to the next adventure. So, let's keep going. Let's eat, eh? Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's do it. Well, today has finally come. Look at this. What a beautiful morning. Not even a drop of wind. Man, I'm so excited. So it's about 6.45, we've got 15 minutes just to get ready. We've got someone picking us up. His name's Jordan, and we're taking his boat out for the day.
not doing much open water free diving in my time. Seeing a shark in the open water for the first time is a pretty crazy feeling, that's for sure. And to swim down and shoot a cobia off it, man, what an absolute experience. But unlucky for me, I shot the cobia and as it swum to the surface, my flopper closed up and the fish escaped off the spear. The sharks were absolutely pumping in this spot. The time I reloaded my gun, the cobia were gone, which is pretty unfortunate because they're such nice eating fish. But as I reloaded my gun, we come across this little school of maki swimming towards the boat. So I decided to swim down and try and shoot my first Spanish mackerel. And unfortunately for me, the gun I brought with me was only a little reef gun, so the distance wasn't there for me. As we're swimming back to the boat, this three metre shark decides to swim under Jordan and straight for me. I tell you what, I didn't know what to do, so I just poked it with my spear, hoping that it would just disappear. Man, I tell you, I needed a new set of undies after that one. <laughs> swimming back to the boat, we see this massive school of Spanish mackerel. Now, knowing that my gun was underpowered, Caden gave me his gun to borrow and I shot my first Spanish mackerel. What a feeling. As soon as I caught him, I grabbed him by the gills and brained him straight away to put him out of his misery. And there you have it, the first mackerel on the boat. Man, that was such a sick feeling. Yes! Oh, we got him! A few moments later, Caden goes for a deep drop and comes up with another beautiful Spanish mackerel. Good work, sunshine. Well guys, I got my Spanish mackerel. Man, I'm absolutely pumping right now. What an adrenaline rush, I tell you. Those sharks were coming in real hot too. I reckon there was a couple of bullies, at least two meters or, or so longer. Man, they were crazy. And uh, one come up real close to me and I was like, whoa, all right, now it's time to get back in the boat. So uh, I know I got my Mackie, Caden got one as well. So great shot by Caden. And uh, now we're in about, what were we in? 17 to 18 meters of water and Caden and uh, Jordan are just going to do a bit of a deep drop. Hopefully we can go get some uh, coral trout, a nice rank and cod maybe. Uh, it's a little bit deep for me to dive. I'm, I'm diving around the 8, 10 meter mark, but uh, 17 is a little bit out of my reach. So I'm going to do a couple of deep drops. Hopefully we can get a couple more trophy fish. I think Jordan's on to something. Is that a ranking? Oh, that's a good sized fish. What do we got here, George? What's up? Man, what a... Whoa! Hey. A little ranking. Nice size ranking. Very nice. Nice size ranking. Nice shot too. Look at the trout. <laughs> Look at the size of him. Not a bad little trouty there. Mate, you're the, you're the trout king. Uh -oh. Yeah. Got a good one the other day and a good one today, so we're pretty happy. Far out. Real good fish, that one. Beautiful. So, good stuff, man. Happy. That's awesome. Very, I'm very nice. Yep. Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Yep, yeah, you're right. Look at that. Trout by trout. Nice size. 
Very nice. Yeah, yeah Got boys. a couple of fish. Man, a couple more. What an absolute sesh. If I could dive 17 meters, we'd be getting some of these, but these boys did it for us. Look at the size of those trout. Nice ranking, nice little red here, and of course the two Spanish mackerel, so they can't complain about that, can we? A couple of good trout. Yeah. Uh, beasts. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we came all the way out here to get uh, Nico his mac, and we got it. Cheers, Nico. Man, absolutely stoked. What a great day. What a what a perfect end uh, to the trip. So heading home tonight, but uh, hopefully we can get this this feature film out in the next uh, week or so because uh, there's been so much stuff happening in the last couple of days. Can't thank Caden enough. Thanks to Jordan for taking me out today. We got our Mackie, we've got a couple of bottom fish, we've got the mud crab, and uh, all in all, what a great holiday. So. Ah, man, absolutely stoked. I can't wait to see that footage of the sharks though, that was crazy.